Hello there, this is SRJ26 and I have a video tutorial for you today. We are standing in front of the Shaftlands Daily Minecraft Video Studio and we're going to use a green room. So follow me inside and I will show you how it is done. Our green rooms are right over here. They're on the first floor and there are three of them and they're set up to be able to do chroma key background dropouts. So uh, let's go down and take a look. I think we'll use uh, room 3, which is down the hall here. So this is our green room, and there are three identical ones in this uh, in this facility. And you can make any green room you want in a single player or on a server. Uh, it's best on a server because you want to have a uh, cameraman like my buddy here, Sir Blockhead. Um, so this block right here, this four square, is going to be the thing that I will stand behind. And I'm going to basically peek out and walk forward towards the camera and, ta and I won't even talk a little bit because I'm actually using some audio from a clip and I'm going to take this footage and overlay it on a still image that's from the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off and this is part of a little project I'm doing to close out my old channel so uh, let me show you that you can take a look at the footage and I will show you how I incorporate it in iMovie all right, so we're in iMovie right now. I'm on a Macintosh, and I'm going to pull in the background image. Actually, before I do that, let me just show you. This is the footage from Ferris Bueller's Day Off that I'm grabbing. It's the end credits, and I'm actually grabbing this last little bit where Ferris talks to us. You can even see. You're here we go. Here? This part. So what I do is I come down here and this is just an iMovie you'll have a similar way to do it in your application probably better because most programs are uh, honestly better than iMovie it's good but it's not like super professional stuff and here's our still I don't want it to move so in iMovie I have to do some funky stuff like crop it the right way so I'm gonna just do that and try to line up the divider on the crosshairs and there we're done. Next I'm going to take my photos and make them go away and I'm going to, I've already done this so I'm sort of showing you again how I did it. Uh, so if it looks confusing that's okay. And I do my green screen right there and there's my green screen but it does not look good. Often when you do a green screen it's trying to pick from the color from the from the background image what to drop out so you have to adjust the video so in this case I have my white point down here and I can change my white point in this clip and I want to change it so I get maximum me <laughs> maximum me and minimum chatter minimum static so I sort of mess with it a little bit and I find something I can live with and it's pretty close to yeah, I don't know. For now, I'll just show you that. And then I click Done. And now, if I lined up my footage properly, it'll look like I come out from behind the wall. See that? So the original footage, if you look down here, it's all green screen. So you can sort of see that I come out from behind the wall there. And that green wall is just me zoomed in on the blocks and then the wall behind me. So I come out from behind the blocks with the wall behind me. And then I walk forward to the camera, turn around, turn around again and walk back and again I'm walking behind those two blocks of the green clay and into the background when I overlay it and line up that line just right well it looks like I'm walking out of the Ferris Bueller's Day Off scene uh, admittedly the vertical aspect is not quite right but I don't really want to spend an entire day working on this this is actually my third go around trying to get this right uh, so I, I'm satisfied at this point that it's good enough for government work as they say. Um, I also have an issue with some chatter in the background so what I do is I drop out my whoop, I don't do that. In this particular software I detach my audio. I could just mute it but I like to detach it and 
just blow it away. And now I've got a silent clip. Uh, what I did for the final piece is I took this piece right here and I actually went, this is a really long one, so I'm not, I basically detached the audio from this final bit here and brought it over underneath this clip so that the audio from the original clip was going along with my avatar on top of the Ferris Bueller's Day Off background. So that's how I accomplished that little bit of, uh, it's hardly even wizardry, but that's how I put it together. Um, anyways, you can do an awful lot with green screen, but you have to be careful about a couple of things. If your character has green in their skin or colors that wind up being a problem with the green screen, you might need to do a blue screen or you might need to get creative. Um, but there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can incorporate real footage with uh, Minecraft stuff. You can put your character in the world, in our real world. Um, you can get really creative, and I'm sure you've seen amazing videos out there. So if you, well, I guess I'll take it back to the, uh, the Shaftlands where I will show you a little bit more. And that's basically all there is to it. I think it came out pretty well. Um, your software will vary, of course. If you're on a Mac, then you probably have access to a green screen dropout. Uh, you'll find that the dark areas towards the top of the uh, walls and on the corners will be harder to deal with. Uh, for this particular test, we used uh, the zoom feature in Optifine to sort of zoom in and uh, make it as simple a background as possible to drop out. But, um, you know, your software, your mileage will vary, so just uh, work on it. It'll take some time, and you may be able to do amazing things uh, with a little bit of luck. So hope you learned something, and uh, good luck, and let me know what you make. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.